success means satisfaction and the satisfaction comes from from the mind here what i wanted to be i became since my childhood the greatest inspiration for me my father my role model and i, I wanted to be like him and but the society the friends they had another what we can say expectations from me but before starting that story i wish to tell about myself that i was born in a small hamlet in a hut my grandpa was a peasant and at that time my father was a primary school teacher that life of the hamlet was really a very amazing life every personality is inspired by two environments the in internal or inner environment and the environment from outside and he or she is inspired by both environments in the childhood i was very much inspired by the beauty of the land and then what we can say in the early early childhood and then again we came to sin university colony we settled there there as sir manoj told that i was lucky that i experience i observed the great personalities like madam amina kamisani sir arjun lal and many other cluster of the people our neighbors they were men of letters the poets the writers the social activists and the men who were successful people in their life but now again coming to my dreams it was my dream i say to my students dream on it may come true or it will come true during the dreaming i had the dreams that i had to be popular famous and loved by my society the people surrounding me because i was inspired by my father and there were many other personalities also and the love of the books but here i want to say the parents i want to request the parents that there is one saying of hazrat ali that never see your dreams in your children eyes never impose impose your will on your children because you were born in another time and the children they were born in other time you have seen other days other uh, circumstances and they will face they are facing and they will face the other circumstances so in that way that uh, about the career planning but uh, like sir azhar shah my father has remained a tough fighter with the administration with the call for he fought for the cause of the teachers and from class 1 till class 8 we lived in a luxurious life and all of sudden the life had a u turn and we had my family had to leave the luxurious life of a bangalore into a village of fishermen where there was acute poverty from a bangalore we started living in a hut in the rough weather conditions where poverty was quite visible here in society of pakistan fishermen are the most deprived segment of the society but i enjoyed that life although 
from the luxurious life to a very tough life we came. At that time my best friend was my grandpa. And I worked with him in the agricultural fields. I worked in the dairy farm. I did a lot of odd jobs because my father was the only breadwinner and nearly a family of more than 20. He had to, what we can say, feed. During that, and then again, time kept passing, 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 till I passed intermediate. Due to my interest of books, father bought, got a shop in Sydney University Colony, and I started my book business. But as my father couldn't understand my personality, that I can't be a businessman, and uh, so the business went flop. But these three years were the most difficult years of my life. Why? Because I was doing, I was compelled to do the job, which was not of my interest. And here the youth people are. Uh, I am addressing the youth that sometimes when we can't get anything, or when we are forced to do the things which our mind can't accept, at that time we make ourselves mentally sick. And I was feeling myself in a bondage. But, and due to it, my studies were badly disturbed. Then one of, all of a sudden, one of my teacher, Sir Anwar Shah, he said, what's the problem with you? You are good at reading, you are good at studies, but you are not taking interest in studies. I told him my own tale of frustration about this. He said, look, you have to spend more two years in the university. Why you are spoiling the best part of your life? Only thinking on one agenda that you are forced to do the thing. If you don't like it, leave it. Start like a free man and do what you want to do. I said, sir, I want to be a teacher. He said, are you teaching somebody else? I said, yes, sir, I have been teaching. He said, all right, enjoy that, what we can say, teaching. And another thing he said that what you are good at. Are you interested in public speaking? Do you want to be a debater? I said, yes, sir, I wish. And like a child, he was asking, what do you want to do? What do, why, what's the main source of your depression? What's the main source of your frustration? What are your dreams? What do you think? What do you want? I said, sir, I want to be famous. I want to travel. I want to see all major cities or all parts of Pakistan and abroad. And the luck, help, sky is the limit. Never break hope. With these words, I take my position. So nice.